Hello, this is Cindy and welcome to my channel. Be sure you hit the subscribe button if you are enjoying these videos and make sure that you hit the bell for notifications if you would like to be alerted when the next video opens. So today we're working on, I'm going to move my paper out of the way so you can see this a little bit better. This is a single sheet of 12 by 12 folded into a cute little pocket. And there are one, two, three pockets on this side, three pockets on this side, six pockets overall. So today we're going to take a look at how to make this really cute little folio. I, there is, I, I did learn this from somebody else, so I will be putting the link down below to that particular person. But this is a great way to use up some of these 12 by 12s that you get and you're not really sure what to do with them. I, I will say that it seems to work best with an, uh, as an, overall pattern rather than a pattern that has or if you're using one that has a straight up and down make sure that you are being aware of that as you're doing it because otherwise you could end up in a bit of a problem so if you notice all I did was I folded it over and then I folded it again so that forms the basis for my portfolio I'm going to fold it in again, but this time I'm going to be careful not to fold it all the way quite to the seam in the middle. So I want to be able to flip it easily. So I don't want it all the way in. And I have found with mine that I get a little bit of a line there, but that's easily trimmed. So let's just keep going. Again, I'm folding in, but not quite all the way in. And I'm making sure I'm level over here. Okay, and I want to make sure all my seams are down. I want to put it so that my top flaps are open over here. You can do this with two-sided paper, in which case, in, in this case, I have used single-sided paper, so you see that I can get this really neat line here that kind of serves as a demarcation so you know where the fold is. And put those back in there. This is an old Avon, Avon, sorry. We have a town near us called Avon, but obviously the company is Avon. And uh, it's from 1982. This is actually going to someone. It, I'm not going to talk too much more about it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take your top one and fold it all the way back this way. And I like to do it right at a 90 degree angle so that I know that I've got the whole thing there. And then you're going to take the second one and fold it part way back. Enough so that you, you're trying to get it level. I didn't quite get my level. There we go. That's a little bit more level. Okay. And then what you're going to do is fold this one back and fold this one back. And there you have your two pockets. <laughs> now there are a couple of, you know, you don't have to fold this one back. If I wanted it to be the same, I could leave it like that and then just glue them down there. But I like the white showing to show that there are two pockets. So I'm going to leave mine that way. On the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come all the way down and fold it right level with my side. And fold that nice and tight down there and then I'm going to bring this one down and fold it and try to get it about the same as I did on the other side and fold it and then I'm going to fold this one back and I'm going to fold this one back hang on I know I'm a little bit out of frame I'm just trying to get my tucks in there we go fold it in I'm going to go ahead and now cement those down now I have a little bit of white down here. That doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you, you can easily come in, trim it up. 
so that that white goes away. And of course, if you do one side, I suppose you gotta do the other. Personally, it doesn't bother me. And quite honestly, I could always ink it with black because this is a black piece. Get rid of those. And there we go. I didn't quite get mine level. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm using Fabri-Tac at this point now. Um, I don't think you really need to, to um, put these down, but I do just, a, or I don't know that you really need to glue them. Come on. I'm almost out of this particular bottle, so i got to really work it. But I'm just tacking it down a little bit. And if I need to open that up, I can do that just a little bit. And again, just tacking it down. I don't know that it's really necessary to do it. Um, because once you fold these over, they're pretty much going to stay folded. But it just, if it gives you peace of mind, go ahead and tack them down. Come on. There. Now what I want to do is fold them. And I'm going to, to do my glue here and here. And then when I fold it over, it will be a pocket. So like I said, I am almost out of this glue and... I need to open up my other one, but I'm really trying to use those of you who are longtime viewers of this channel. You know that I don't like to waste anything, so I will use up as much of that as I can. I did try storing it upside down the last bottle that I had, and oh my glory, I ended up with such a mess. It came out of the top, even with the lid on, and it filled the lid. Oh, it was a mess. Yeah, I don't do that anymore. By the way, if you want to ink these, and I did realize there's something I forgot to do. Let me grab my, before I get too much further. Because once you have glued these down, this is harder to do. But go ahead and put a little notch. There we go. In your upper ones to make them a little bit more view apparent see how that works that makes them a lot more apparent up there all right let me glue this one down if you're going to ink it before you glue ink it i'm not inking this particular one because i don't think this particular this is not a so much a this is a bright happy vintage not a vintage so i don't want to uh do that all right and then we're going to glue that one down there we go now i left these as flaps on this one i didn't this one i glued them down if you're going to do that glue these first before you flip them over and glue them it makes it a little bit easier but i left these as flaps because i want to be able to just flap them in so if you see, you know, notice there's, a, I'm going to pick a really sturdy card here. I've got a couple of sturdy cards. So I've got a flap here, a flap here, or a, a tuck, try this again, a pocket here, a flap here. I have a pocket here. Now you could, at the moment, this one is completely open. So I could put this into a journal this way. It's six by six this way. You end up with six by six square, um, and it's a little large for most journals. So most people are going to fold it over and use it folded over um, as a, a piece to go in a pocket. Uh, you could, where's my most recent journal here? I'm working on a journal. This is a cleric journal. So let me grab a page here. So I could attach it to the page, and then it's a flip open. And I have a bunch of spots here. I'm going to put my tags back in there. So you could do that this way. I'm going to put my tag in here. I like the thumb notch so that I can get things in there. 
There we go. Get all my little foofies up there. So you could attach it or you could drop it in a pocket. This one is not yet sewn, this particular piece. Uh, I have a pocket here somewhere. There it is. You could drop it in a pocket. I'm not going to stick it in this one because I already have things in that pocket. So there are lots of different things that you can do with this. Um, I'm going to leave this one as it is. I'm not going to embellish it today because you embellish it just like you would a journal card. I left my back open um, because the person this is going to might choose to attach it to a journal or they might choose to leave it the way it is and in which case they could decorate the back or not. But I find that I think when it slides in and out of a pocket, it's easier to not have anything on the back so there won't be anything that catches. Um, and I very carefully decorated the front. I did not do a lot on it. Nothing dimensional, again, because it's sliding into a pocket and it is pretty bulky, especially with four, uh, or actually six cards in there. So I just left it a little bit open. I didn't do a lot, I, I, not a lot of bulking to it. So there is, let me cover up my glue. There is a using up some of your 12 by 12s to make folded pockets. Isn't that cool? Six different places to tuck things. And it can either be glued right to the page or tucked inside a pocket. Okay, again, please make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are enjoying these videos and make sure you like it. Uh, in the meantime, Play safe, and this is Cindy signing off.